pretty much every movie, whether amazing or terrible, has mistakes. However, they tend to go more unnoticed in great movies, simply because everyone watching them is so engrossed by what's going on. So, here are five mistakes from classic movies that might have snuck under your radar. Let's start with the legendary film Braveheart. The famous Mel Gibson drama has repeatedly been criticized for the abundance of historical inaccuracies. But frankly, there are stupid slip-ups in the picture, such as swords and axes bending like rubber. However, perhaps the most obvious mistake is that the protagonist takes the trouble to ride horseback instead of riding in that car that mysteriously appears in one frame of the film. Did you know that in those days it was fashionable to walk in a cap? In this scene, Mel Gibson gets a sword out of nowhere. Here he runs with an empty right hand and in the next frame he already has a weapon. In the movie Jurassic Park, in a scene where a dinosaur enters the kitchen and children hide from it, there is a very strange and frightening moment. Someone decided to touch the dinosaur's butt. In the movie The Dark Knight Rises, here's the first time we're shown that Batman has a fighting technique called non-contact combat. How can you explain this scene? During a fight, one of the opponents falls without any contact to him. And this super epic mistake is during an expensive special effects scene in the movie Knowing. Surely you've noticed it. When Nicolas Cage comes to the policeman on the road, he begins to step back, looking behind him. Nicholas also turns around and is amazed at what he saw, but the falling airplane is coming from the side. Look again at this mistake. How could they spoil such an expensive scene? Next, we have the movie Gladiator. The movie setting unfolds almost 2,000 years ago. During the Battle of Maximus in the arena, you can see how, in addition to usual spectators, a reporter with a video camera came to see the battle. I'm guessing he's streaming a live broadcast of the battle on ancient Rome TV. It also turns out that in hot weather, people came to the stands with plastic bottles of water. Very prudent. Also, very striking is the shoes people are wearing in ancient Rome. Apparently, we got the designs of modern souls from them as well. Today, some historians say that gladiator fights had elements of a show, kind of like wrestling now. And seeing as rivals stab swords at each other's armpits, you begin to believe it. But at the end of the movie, when the deadly wounded Maximus falls to the ground, you can see how his head is comfortably placed on a pillow of sand to die with such comfort. But to be honest, it's no surprise that Maximus eventually died, because he had a very bad coagulation of blood. This can be seen at the beginning of the film when in Germany, he was injured by one of the soldiers in the shoulder. But here, he is in Spain, and the wound is still bleeding. Although to get from Germany to Spain, you must ride at least a month to get there on horseback. And again, hit the enemy's armpit. And poor Maximus at this moment, someone pours on the side with paint. And now the million dollar question, what is wrong with this mother and son? Who noticed in these frames a stupid mistake? Write in the comments below. And in the aftermath, some more movie mistakes. In the movie Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark, the action takes place in the 30s of the last century. Here, Indiana Jones is sitting in the city of Cairo with a monkey, and in the background is a guy in jeans and a t-shirt. Unusual style for Egypt of the 30s. In the second part of Iron Man, Natasha knocks down her partner with a clever trick. However, at the moment of the trick, she turned into a completely different woman. In general, Iron Man 2 is a mystical film. Otherwise, how do you explain that Tony Stark's reflection in the mirror thrusts two fingers into his mouth before Tony Stark himself? And what other kind of movie mistakes did you notice, guys? Leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more.